My name is Peter Bruninger. And I'm Terry Orangi with AV Showrooms. And we're here for Reviewers View High End Munich 2019, the show of shows. This is the largest two channel audio show in the world today. It's spectacular. Just to walk it is takes you, it could take three weeks <laughs> to walk the whole show. Uh, just, just an awesome show. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the standout rooms that we saw and we heard and we videoed. There were a lot of good and rooms. And there's a lot of good rooms this year. Oh my gosh. I really don't know where to start, so I'll have Terry start. Okay, let me start with the Rido TD 3.8. Yeah, good was place to start. That was yep. the introduction, I believe, right? It was. It was the world premiere okay. of the TD 3.8. This is a Benno Nograd design. Benno is the new designer with Rido. He's taken the DNA of Rido and he's warmed it up a little bit. So you're getting more of an organic sound with his 3.8. I thought it was an exceptional loudspeaker. Well, I really like that combination of the gamut and uh, Rido DNA because, uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's two kind of opposite, polar opposites for sound. Yet to, together, they, he really warmed up that mid-range. Yeah. I really like yeah. it. And yeah. he shows us a new motor he and I guess the team developed. In the AV showrooms video, he's going to tell you exactly what that motor does mm -hmm. and the technology. It's more about better base reach, and boy, was that achieved. Yeah, the base reach was really achieved. Mm -hmm. A stellar, stellar room. Um, another room, Terry. Uh, the Solution Magical oh, and Critical Mass Room. My goodness gracious. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, we played the Michelle Jonas live recording on LP. Mm -hmm. uh, the turntable was the... The Deber Topaz. It's T-O-P-A-S. Or Sapphire. And uh, the, the big Solution amplifiers on the Critical Mass stands, platforms, the platforms are designed just for the solution amplifiers uh, on on that that mass stand. Spot on micro detail, yep, yep. a deep reaching bass, yep. and it was like pure liquid gold. It, yep. was, it was that kind of heavy lift liquid, yes. warm feeling yep. with, with, with lots of detail, and it was just magnificent. Yeah. Magnificent. Now the speakers uh, were the Magico M6. M6 is. And this right. was one of the best M6 demos I've ever heard. Yeah, me too. I mean, there's just something about that M6. With those solution amplifiers and the, and, and, and the critical mass and the critical mass. the combination of all all of these, I heard so much information in the mid bass, and that was just and wow. really interesting. Is Joe Lavarchek of Critical Mass talks about his design and his philosophy, so you really know what goes into these racks slash stands when when he makes them. Yes, it's, it's, it's important to understand that when you're spending this kind of money for a system. What you're getting. Yeah, what, 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 why? Why and cost why so much? Are we doing it? And why do you do this? Yeah, uh, exactly. Cyril kicks off that video from Solution oh, telling yeah. us about the system. It just, I cannot wait to, uh, to edit that video. Yep. That's in my editing queue. Another room, Terry. Well, the Vac Von Schweiker uh, bang, room did it again. Bang, bang. I mean, geez. Yeah. I mean, they, I love that room they have. It's, it's a very good it's sounding a good room. It's a good sounding room for yeah. an MOC room. Yeah. Uh, we played I Want You. It's a new groove note recording. Uh, Vanessa Fernandez sings it. It, it, the room had beautiful tonal quality, yep. dynamics, tonality. It was just, it was that concert beating, chest beating sound that you wanted to hear with Vanessa's voice. And yeah. she was just right in the middle of the room between the speakers. It was beautiful. Yeah, the Ultra 9s. This was Ultra the best, nines. this was the best Ultra 9 room I've ever heard. I think that this room uh, eclipsed Rocky Mountain, which was a very good Ultra 9 room, but this room. I mean, it really, it and really. With the vac integrated. With the vac integrated. The IQ. Yeah, it's the 450i IQ. IQ. And That's correct. It's, integrated and, IQ. And it stands, you know, this tall. You've seen it. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful, quiet. beautiful, beautiful. And it's traveling everywhere and doing the job. It so. is. Congratulations, yeah. Vac and Von Schweiger, again. Fabulous sound. Yeah, racking by Artisano. That's correct. And the turntable was the acoustic signature turntable. That's correct. So it all worked out perfect. And a great handshake for all components together in that room. Vanessa was there with us. Wow. It was so great. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to pick a room. The Karma Room. Now, I walked into the Karma Room and I thought, this sounds different. As soon as I walked in and I was sort of chit-chatting with a couple of the folks in the room, Acoustically, the room is different this year. And then I look, I go, what, what am I walking on here? They had a, a floor uh, made by Karma. 
mm -hmm. that they had put down in the room. So now they have not only the walls. It's a room within a room. Yeah, it's they have three walls around when you walk in, and now the flooring system, which is an integral part of this of the wall system. And I saw, and I go, what the heck? Where's the equipment rack? And I realized it's a cadenza, and it's this beautiful automated it's, a, it's like a 21st century console <laughs> if you remember those from the 50s yeah. and the 60s yeah i the mean only it's paint. really yeah. big yeah, it's and it's it's, it's you know it's low you can put the turntable in there the turntable can the go inside the electronics can go inside it the, the, the top lifts very off. very good looking yep their effort of putting this room within a room really pays off it did pay off Sonically, most of those yeah. if not yeah. all of the moc rooms a lousy for sound. The bleed through is is enormous. Yeah. This was its own little Only empire. Room. It was. Its own little vacuum, and so it showed off what it mm -hmm. showed off the calm equi uh, equipment. It was a black background. Mm -hmm. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We played. Um, it was Vanessa, I believe. Yeah, I want you. It yep. was holographic. Yep. Her voice was suspended between the speakers. That's because of the treatments. So treatments do count, guys. Yeah. Uh, what a beautiful video. What it was a viral video? loudspeaker, if, if memory serves correct. Uh, Charles will yeah. walk you through the room. That's correct. And he does a great job this year of explaining all the components. Uh, he is uh, becoming one of our newer stars on AV Showrooms. Uh, he does really good explaining good. what he what he builds, how and he why. builds it, and why. Yeah. So this is a must-see video. Yes, it is. And Terry, how about another room? Okay, I'm going to jump right over to the Zeloton room. Wow, pow! There's yeah. always something that stands out <laughs> that uh, room. from everybody else at, at, at a show, and this one. These refined style, the style of these speakers are highly refined, beautifully integrated. The bass was just perfect. Yeah, this is the model that's second from the top, of, uh, just, that's just right. below the statement. That's right, statement mark two, yep. I believe. And they, they were with the YS Sound. From Japan. Japan. Um, uh, amplifiers which have such a mystique because I can't find anything out about them and no one seems to want to tell me but it doesn't That's matter right. it's, it's because it secret. sounded so damn good and we played the LP I Want You from the, the eponymous album uh, by Groove Note uh, recorded by Ying Tan and it just filled the room yeah. with dynamics. It had everything. Yeah, everything. It did. Dynamics. It, did. It, did. It, it had it micro and macro it dynamics. It, it had soundstage. It had imaging. Zeloton never disappoints but this was even above last year yeah I, I they had the statements last year i think yeah. i think this they were great they were great and it, 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 insta gold show uh winner yeah. uh these i i don't know these are just just as good or maybe a hair better well i just wow. like this room it was yeah yeah just awesome really up there just awesome room. okay 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 enough goosebumps i get goosebumps even just thinking about it's, it it's exciting yep okay i'm gonna call another room the vitus audio room uh with rockport loudspeakers uh hansel vitus was featuring the sia 030 new integrated amplifier in a beautiful burnt orange finish uh, which you can see here this is one of those amps that you just drool over mm -hmm. I'm on an integrated amp kick and I have been listening to several integrated amps over the past 12 months that uh, have really just opened my eyes up to the possibilities of just going simple and here you go the SIA 030 with the rock ports, perfect handshake. It's a, this holographic stage. It was just. It was that, beautiful. It was beautiful. And you beautiful. have to see the inside, which we're going to show you like yeah. right now. Yeah. Of uh, this amplifier and the work that's been put into it, and yeah. uh, Hans Vitus, the designer and proprietor of Vitus Audio, he will explain to you in the video in detail yeah, what in his detail. philosophy is. Yeah and how he's engineered this and it's very very interesting he's very clear on how yeah he finished the amp just uh, just a week before the show uh -huh. so he said he was under intense deadline to get the amplifier but he done, got it. and he got it done and he said this model here this burnt orange one he says I'm keeping that this is my this is my memento and he's uh, he's got orders already uh, so we're uh, we're one may be coming our way we do have an integrator from Vitus I know we're working with getting the review sample lined up and his travel time over to AV showroom studios it just might be a cop uh, a, a sample of the SIA 030, mm. we shall see. In that color, I hope. And I don't know if they're going to do that color, <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw out another room. Actually, I'm going to throw two rooms out. Okay. The new go to loudspeaker, high efficient go to loudspeaker, that is a speaker over 100 dB in, efi in efficiency, is the Troy Audio Helena 2. This loudspeaker is based on the drivers from the Altec 604. In fact, 
one of the team members worked for Altec and was they acquired all of the assets and uh, intellectual property rights to the Altec speakers and now they're made in modern day uh, in, in modern day material with modern day materials and what you're getting here is you're getting a more of an organic sound than that highly detailed Altec Lansing sound of years ago mm -hmm. uh, in this beautiful fit and finish cabinet. These cabinets, uh, uh, Helena, stand two parts, lower unit, top unit, mm -hmm. and they just disappear in the room and they have so much detail. I hear and heard on Ambison's voice, one track we play off of conversations, her daughter doubled up in the in the mix in the beginning in the beginning I didn't so hear distinct anymore. like she was standing right yeah, here and I, very good. i've never ever heard that very before impressive. people are always on the search for high efficient speakers what can you use with the 45 tube amplifier what can you use with a little uh first watt amplifier uh, designed by nelson pass here you go. Yeah. Here you go. We shot two rooms. We shot them in the larger room in the atrium level, teamed up at Thrax Electronics. It was a very detailed sound, a little bit of bleed through from this rooms next door. It was outstanding. That tone was spot on. Then we went down to a, a cabin, and the cabins are on the, the hall level, which is, which is the marketplace. But they're self-enclosed. They have three size cabins this year, small, medium, and large. And these guys were in a, if, if I'm not mistaken, a medium-sized cabin. It was spectacular. Mm -hmm. It was so warm. I have heard the speaker now. This is the fourth time I've heard the speaker. And this, is, this really had true warmth and low-frequency reach. It just goes to show where you put them. And you put them in a good room that's got good warmth and good support for the, the walls and the base. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the high-efficiency speaker mm -hmm. for you to chase. Helena to from Troy Audio. Again, they were teamed up at Thrax in the cabin as well. Carry another room. Okay, uh, Magico with Solution and ah, Critical Mass. Another one, another uh, one. Elon Wolf uh, tells you about the technology in the newish M2 loudspeakers. It's the European debut. Mm -hmm. And um, it's re very interesting um, what he has to say because he's such a, a wonderful designer. Mm -hmm. We played I Want You once again, Vanessa. Yeah, Fand. yeah. Big sound stage. Big sound Excellent stage. Excellent transient response. Yep. Um, everything I could want from Magico was sound that I, I really love anyway, the no loudspeakers. Yeah, because Magico has that, I, it's a magic, it's a magic in the mid-range. Yes. I first heard a Magico, we both heard, the, I think, 05. the first time in Rocky Mountain 05. They were debuting That he exhibited publicly, and it was a smaller speaker, or the I forget the model number now, back uh, in a day. It was the first one that he came I, out I think that's the first audio show, maybe the New York one. First or second audio show, no, I went in 04 too, but my point was I was new to audio shows. Mm -hmm. And aside from Peter's systems, I was new to the whole scene, and it's to this day that's the one room I remember. Yeah, me too. Magical. I'll never forget that. They were room. wooden, I think. Yeah, they were they wooden. Were, yeah. yeah, they were wooden. Today, these speakers are top of the market. Mm -hmm. uh, the M2s, in a smaller package, are giving you everything the M6 gives you, mm -hmm. just a little less bass, and which is perfectly fine for a normal-sized listening room such as a room in uh, one of our studios. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have giant size uh, listening rooms. So that M2, that's on my short list of to die for loudspeakers. Yeah, speakers. really special. Yeah, real special, detailed holographic imaging and that magic in the mm -hmm. mid-range where you really feel like you're hearing a live instrument right in front that's of you. That's where all the music is in the mids. That's right, that's right, that's where the music is. Won't you the right way Okay, I'm going to throw out another room. This is a, an odd room. The YAR room. And the amplifier looks like it's a UFO. <laughs> I mean, this, this room actually sounded very, very good. It's a very Italian design. Very Italian the design. creativity of very the Italians creative. and very wonderful people in the short time we came to visit. Yeah. And it sounded really good. Really good. Very unique loudspeakers. Yep, from YAR, another cabin yeah, room. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I want to call that room out. And then, uh, you know, it's eye candy uh, for the video camera. It's a short clip. Uh, we only had about a minute and a half of uh, recording time. The room operator k killed the clip uh, for another demonstration. Mm -hmm. So you will 
it's, it's interesting. It's you try, very, very cool. You try to, to squeeze inside these interesting smaller companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah very cool. Yeah. But just before we w filmed that room, we were filming the Borison room. Mm. Avic Acoustics, Andrews Cables, uh, Borison. They had the O ones. O ones is what we were playing. And the O fives. We, we played the O ones. We played the O ones. These little speakers, that bass reach in that room. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah. They, yeah. Um, Michael Barson never never disappoints with his creations. Yeah, I, I I went over to Michael. I said, well, what should I film, the fives or the the ones? He said, well, you know, the ones really they're doing really good. So I guess I don't know if that was a secret handshake to me saying yes, I would like the ones film, but I'm glad we did because I never heard the ones have that kind of bass reach and and texture yeah, and texture. layered. Yep. Um, everything you could want. Again, yep. we played craft work yep. and the room exploded. Everybody yeah. was falling their heads. Yeah, it yeah, just... it was a real head bobbing room. It was uh, really good. <laughs> It just goes to show where you put the speakers, how you set the speakers yes. up. The Borison speakers are, are known for their detail and purity. And this speaker, this in this room, we got beautiful organic warmth along with the detail and the purity. So this was definitely a home run for the Borison O1. Yeah, I mean, you want yeah. big speaker sound. Yeah, sound in big a little speaker package. sound in a little package. This is it. This, this is, is it. it. No doubt. No doubt. Terry, how another room? Okay, I'm going to go with Nagra. They uh, have the YG yes. Sonya, yeah. Sonya XVs or 15s, yeah. whatever yeah. your preferences. Yeah, yeah. With a uh, woofer tower. Yeah. So there were four, yeah. uh, four towers of four. Four uh, towers with the subwoofer. The subwoofer was off yeah. to the right, back in the room. Yeah. Uh, you'll hear it on our uh, on the on the recording we did. Uh, we re recorded the Anguste, uh, the Mozart Anguste right. from Chasing the Dragon One. Mm -hmm. And when that bass pedal comes in, when that organ oh, pedal comes in, it just, I, it's, it's just, it just, it just, it, the, it came up from the center of the earth. It's the usual, Nagra oh. has that delicately detailed sound, but at the same time it's got all the richness. Richness and organicness. Of, That's exactly of, of, right. And yes. that Nagra sound came through in that yeah, room. And that yeah, room yeah. Wow. was packed. It was packed, jam packed. They had events. I mean, they were yeah. they were busy beavers. <laughs> they were. We uh, we went in and we uh, have Renee walking us through the system. Uh, Renee Laflamme for Niagara, mm -hmm. uh, based up in Montreal yes. uh, for Niagara, and uh, he does a great system walkthrough. And then we pull the camera to the back of the room with a room full of people, and we are giving you exactly what we heard and what you would get if you were at the Munich show. Mm -hmm. You're a member of the audience. And you could hear it was like being at a concert hall. Yeah, it That's, was, it that was very, very, very compelling. It was just outstanding, outstanding. So, uh, again, YG, Nagra, just a great, great, uh, great, great combination here at, uh, or there at uh, High End 2019. Terry, another room. Audio Net. The Audio Net room. Uh, Audio Net was showcasing the new Humboldt Integrated. Now, we had seen uh, prototypes of it, but we had not heard it. That nobody has wow. this no not publicly. Has, it, not publicly. This is their first. Public this was debut. the first public de debut of it on the Dyn Audio speakers, and it had that same character as the Stern and Heisenberg. Yeah, Stefan, the new CEO, explains that it has all the technology that's in the Heisenberg and Stern, Stern and it's yep. unmistakable. Yep. That they, unmistakable. They all have the same DNA. Yeah, DNA. DNA. It was. It just delivered effortless sound, holographic. It. It. it Unraveled, as you said, all the layers. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, in the uh, craft work that we played, radioactivity, I think it was. Yeah, I think we played uh, yeah, radioactivity in that room. And yes, and I think that everybody who uh, were, was in the room with us had a little bit of uh, radiation poisoning. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was so so, so it. cool. So Dyn Audio with the loudspeakers. Yeah, right? Dyn Audio uh, loudspeakers, Audio Net. They just they yeah. dominate in in their quiet way because yeah. they just there is such ease and effortlessness. Mm -hmm about the um, Heisenberg Stern and now the Humboldt that mm -hmm. it's, you have to hear it to believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, truly uh, world class oh, yeah, world amplifiers. Oh yeah, amplifiers. Top of the line. Top yep. of the line. Uh, let me throw out another room. Uh, the Verity room with the Longgren 2S loudspeakers with the Verity oh, amplifiers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe the very turntable nice. was a TW Acoustics turntable. That was a great sound, a very enveloping sound, mm -hmm. a very detailed sound, a very believable sound. I sat within the barley green, I sat me with my true love. Uh, 
Uh, we've heard the Verity Longren twos uh, in Philadelphia at uh, at, a, at a condominium when we did the shoot earlier this year for United Home Audio. They had an installation in Philadelphia, and uh, we shot this beautiful condominium, and the Longren twos were there. This sounded just as good or better here at the show. I mean, it was just very, very, very good sound. Um, so a shout out to Verity Audio. That Longren 2S is still is an outstanding loudspeaker, detailed, mm -hmm. but with good reach. So it does a it, it, it does everything. Terry, another room. Okay, uh, the global room. Uh, now this this room is with. Uh, uh, this is Kronos. another. This is a drum roll room. This is a Kronos yeah, yeah. with the analog complete analog, analog solution. solution. Yeah. It had the Angstrom amps. Yeah. And they had the Divin Noblesse, which I think is the middle of the Divin line. Yeah, yeah. And it's right second from the top of the size, and I guess price. Um, it was just one of the best global rooms I've ever heard. Yeah, and I this agree. This is a standout. We, that, we played, uh, again, Vanessa Fernandez, I Want You, and mm -hmm. that, the information that Kronos pulled from that, that record, the yeah. pressing, was just amazing. I, yeah. Just hearing it on the video, and you know, I know what a video is, transfer sound is. Mm -hmm. It was it was something else. I listened to the whole thing again. I want you the right way. I want you, but I want you to want me to. Yeah, it was a. Uh... It was a lacquer, so no, you know, had that going for it. Plus, it's a, it's a, it's an outstanding recording. This is a must do. You must buy this record. Uh, it's called "I Want You," which is the name of the album or the CD. It's available uh, both in uh, both formats. Um, I believe it might be high res downloads, and I would not be surprised if there isn't a real to real tape coming mm -hmm. of this. This is uh, just it's outstanding. Yeah, this song was originally song's called beautiful. By, um, recorded by Marvin Gaye. Yeah, really. But in any case, yeah, this any case, was yeah. a. a had brilliant dynamics, pinpoint yeah. imaging, yep. everything yep. you could want from a loudspeaker, yep. along with the source, because yep. that you could. It's so obvious that the Kronos source is just a superior source in my, in my estimation. Mm -hmm. And I failed to mention that it was also the source in the Magico room. That's right. That's right. So Terry's you, right. These are two winners with Kronos um, Analog Solution. Yeah, well, speaking right. speaking of analog solution, there was also analog solution in the Lawrence Audio TLA right. room, That's and correct. that was a great another sounding, nice room, sounding another room. nice sounding room. Uh, again, featuring the, the outstanding TLA electronics. We have a, a close up shot of some of the transformers uh, in the in the amplifier. Uh, it's a, a tour de force in uh, in design. So uh, shout out to TLA. Lawrence Audio Dragon loudspeakers uh, were uh, simply mm -hmm. singing in that room, mm -hmm. and the full analog solution yes. from Kronos. Yep. So, another room, Terry. Okay. Um, I'm going to I want to talk about the cubes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, anybody who <laughs> follows us even for five minutes knows that we just knows adore that these. We we are in love with and the cubes. And they're very very. Um, Accurate, which is not always my cup of tea. But for some reason, these deliver something I've never had in an accurate speaker. We have them set up here. They're optimized. They're optimized. They're as good as you get. It's and I just, and I have other favorite loudspeakers because that yeah. aren't like this. Yeah. But for this type, a single driver. Yeah. It, it, to me, there's nothing like it. I I listened in at the show, but there was so much noise. I confess, I really couldn't get a beat on it. It was just a noisy. It we were people walking around. So I can't honestly report about the sound. But there, I can. But I, I can. I can about how it is in my house, and it's an excellent one of the best loudspeakers out there for the money, ten thousand dollars. No, no, they're fifteen for, okay. for the Nenufar. They were introducing the new, uh, smaller version of the Nenufar. Yes. It's, it's a. It's, it's a monitor. It's right? a little monitor, so it doesn't have the full box. And we did not get a chance because of time to hook that up and listen to it and record it. We'll do it at the next show where they bring right. those. Uh, the designer says it has it's 99% of the of the larger Nenufar in in a in a small package. Mm -hmm. They were also showing the new 15 inch uh, unit, yes. a driver unit uh, that was on static display yeah, outside the cabin. We did not get to hear it. Shout out again to the Cube, the Cube Nenufar. Uh, it's you'll hear it in the video. It's giving you. All the detail that's possible from mm -hmm. your recordings in a natural way. That's There's right. no crossover. There's nothing in the way of the music. Okay, let me throw out another room. I'm going to throw out a new company to me, Live Act Audio. Mm -hmm. Loudspeaker company. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll see here the fit 
and the finish on these speakers is totally cool. It's like an organic feel to it. The uh, the size of the speaker, it's a layering, and the way it feels, it feels almost like you're touching the bark of a natural tree. So it's a very organic shape. Sonically, it's stunning because it's a coax speaker which puts a tweeter right behind the mid-range uh, up here and then depending upon what model you have there's different numbers of woofers depending upon the model number uh, the sound is like a live act uh, very uh, detailed it has that tannoy flavor to it but it's more sophisticated I say it's I, very nice it's very very nice I mean it reminds me of the prestige series uh, uh, tannoys from the glory days of, of uh, years ago. This is a speaker to watch out for. Relatively easy to drive as well. We talked to the owners and we talked to the designer. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's a very good. It's very, all in the video. It's all in the video. Great sound. Wait till you hear this video. Yeah, it's one of the best know. sounding videos that we recorded at the show this year. Mm -hmm. Terry, have another room. Well, the Gary Surratt. Boom. My heart. You know, we have the genus integrated at home. So oh, my goodness. They had the Achilles amplifiers. Yeah, it's a three-chassis unit. Ooh, One stage drives, it. the other stage drives the next stage. Uh, Stavros describes how the amplifier works in the video. Uh, this amplifier is, I, I've never seen anything like it. I think they were yeah. the Siphonia loudspeakers. Yeah, I, I think believe. that the, we'll yeah, the you'll see it in, in, the, in the video, the LS, uh, their statements, I believe, Siphonias. They had the big basso horns. Uh, you'll see it. I, I swing the camera to get mm -hmm. a shot because the room was so tightly packed with all of this mm -hmm. audio candy that I couldn't even frame the shot to yeah. get the bass horns. And, <laughs> it's, it's, and the fit and finish on the oh, horns of these loudspeakers. It, it's oh my gosh, this team, this team is... And, oh. and in that room we were introduced to a um, Portuguese turntable designer, Rui Borges. Yeah. Really interesting. We have a we have a clip on his turntable. On the turntable, very interesting design where mm -hmm. the the turntable motor has un, uh, is mounted where it can move uh, left and right, uh, and it has a pendulum going down to the floor where you can adjust the side weight on it, which effectively moves the the turntable pulley a little this way or a little that mm. way, just a little bit. The Room operator said to me, he said, you know, when I move the weight on the turntable, the whole sound stage changes. I said, I, I, I kind of understand that because I think part of what's going on is you're, you're changing the rake angle of the belt on the pulley, but you're also changing the tension of the belt on the pulley. And that's everything in, in, a, in a belt drive turntable. That pulley and, and belt and platter are one continuous mechanical unit and then if you adjust one little variable like you move it out a little bit that that uh, motor you're going to change the sound in fact years ago I was working with Lloyd Walker he has the, the Walker turntable I bought one of the early samples of the Walker turntable I, I was one of one of one of the ideas I had was to put the motor on a sled and then Lloyd came up with a screw design to move it in and out, and that really it's, it makes a big difference. The tension you put on a, a belt on a turntable. So I understand what Rui's doing here. Uh, different materials in the turntable. This is a this is a Tour de France uh, mm -hmm. Force turntable. But back to that Airy Surat system. I mean, you walk into this room. I mean, it's like gosh, it's like the Greek gods. You've just entered this chamber with this. You know, the one component is more beautiful than the next. The, again, the, the base units of the horns with the fit and finish and the veneer work is just off the charts. I you mean, know the statements. Gosh, it's, it's impeccable, the, the, yeah, the craftsmanship and the woodworking that, that go and into it. And the passion that has gone into the designs. My gosh, I know. engineering. I know. I mean, we're big fans of the Genesis amplifier, which is the entry-level Aries Surratt. And it's wonderful. And it's outstanding. It's an outstanding amplifier. We have them on amplifier. the cubes, and yep. it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, let me throw out another room. The Audio Solutions mm. Room. Mm. Audio Solutions is from where? Lithuania. They were showing the Virtuoso loudspeaker. This is a four-driver, three-way floor stander. And if you close your eyes, mm. you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You would think you're listening to a Magico or a YG or a Wilson. What is it? What is it? Then you open up your eyes and you go, wow, that's a beautiful sounding speaker. Yeah. Uh, we heard first heard Audio Solutions at Rocky Mountain. Uh, we filmed the Figaro... Uh, L's large and we filmed the Figaro XL's. Uh, this 
Virtuoso loudspeaker comes in above in price. Uh, the fit and finish is off the charts. The sound is, my goodness gracious, it, it, we played three different snippets from, uh, from Chasing the Dragon. Mm -hmm. You'll hear a drum track, you, I believe you played the Anglis Day, yes, yes. and I may have even tossed in Kraftwerk, I forget, we'll have to go check the video, but you'll see it in the video. This, this, this company is mm -hmm. on to something sonically. Uh, these are a relatively young team. <coughs> Outstanding design eye for the fit and the finish of the loudspeaker. Sonically, it's all of one cloth. It has deep extended bass that's punchy and deep, hard to get both. And it has a holographic mid-range and a you are there believability of the image density that it throws out into the room that makes it this an extraordinary loudspeaker. So a big shout out to Audio Solutions mm -hmm. with their new Virtuoso loudspeaker. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Impressive. Very nice. Well, that leads us to that time of reviewer's view. It's ladies first. What would you take home, a component or a full room, Terry? Well, first let me say, this was very hard this year because there were three rooms that were contending. I don't going to say what they were, but okay. it's not a full room, okay. and it's not just a component. Okay, I'm drawing it's the drum. the Zeloton Reference Mark oh, II, mm -hmm. along with those amplifiers, the YS Sound. The YS Sound amplifiers. I'm going to get to the bottom of them yet. <laughs> You're going to figure those out. <laughs> I said, and I'm sure the Nerzinger cables has, have a lot to do with it, because I know that oh, my, that's what Michael uses. So, yes, those three things. But I'm going to have the Kronos turntable on it. I'm sorry. It's, it's my baby. So I, that would be a dream system and a take-home. So, yes, Zeloton is my take-home. Okay. Mine... No pro hands down, karma. I was never so impressed by a design goal. Charles Van Ostrom has designed the whole thing, the room, the electronics, the housing to hold the electronics, the shelving, the cadenza, uh, the walls, and the floor. And when you take all of that together with the outstanding I think they're Viron 2s. I'll, I'll double check mm -hmm. that. Uh, you'll double check it. it in the video. You'll in see it. Charles will tell you uh, in the video. But you'll hear it. I mean, it's it's about what did it sound like? He builds your own personal it's paradise. Paradise. It's just it, it's it, it, a it is. It's just heaven to heaven when you go. You, yeah, I walked in there yes. and I and I knew my voice had changed as soon as I it, it reflected back differently than it did in the prior year. This was a, a room uh, that dreams are made of. Yeah. Really, the yeah. dreams are made of. I thought that this was the most aggressive and outstanding uh, exhibit I probably have ever seen. Yeah. It was yeah. just, it was yeah. that, it was that, I don't know, it just, it just knocked me out. So that wraps it up for Reviewer's View, High End Munich, 2019. An outstanding show. You should come if you can to experience the cornucopia of Sonic Delights. There's nothing like it in the world. Thank Peter Brudinger, thank you for watching. Terry Ringy. For AB Showrooms, we'll see you at the next show. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.